Well, today is my birthday. I'm 45 and I'm still alive. I cannot believe that I'm 45. The last 15 years or so have really just flown by, but uh, I'm glad to still be here. Today is Thursday, September 12th, and we are gonna be celebrating my birthday for the next four days. Uh, my wife has taken the day off work today to be with me because she is awesome like that. I'm not really sure what's going on over the next couple of days, but I thought why not document it and show all of you how I celebrated my 45th birthday. So I decided I wanted to start off my birthday uh, by going for a little skate. And so we came to the brand new Inglewood pump track. This is my new favorite thing. So I've been enjoying coming here, getting some exercise, and uh, yeah, so let's go do it. Party. Mm. That is some sweet cake, but delicious. And this is one of my favorite ice creams right now. Telemook uh, Campfire. So that was actually it for day one, uh, my actual birthday. I woke up in the morning, we went to the pump track. Like I said, my wife took the day off work. Uh, so then we just came back home and we hung out and spent some time together, which was really nice. I then had my cake and ice cream and I opened gifts, but I didn't open all of them. I saved some for tonight. And uh, so tonight after I open the rest of my gifts, I'm gonna share some of those with you guys. Now she did have something planned, some type of an event for us to go to. Uh, I still don't know what it is, uh, but we talked about it and I decided that I would rather wait until our son could join us. So we're gonna be doing that tomorrow morning. But right now, I'm gonna go pick up my son from school and we're gonna go have more fun. Back at the pump track, day two. This time I brought the boy with me. So my wife and son definitely spoiled me with the gifts and I wanted to share some of this with you guys. Uh, at least the stuff that's connected to the 80s. I'm gonna start with the stuff that my son got me. He got me these Creepshow Halloween decorations. I think you can see the decorations there on the back. Uh, now I already have the uh, Return of the Living Dead and the They Live decorations that they put out. And those are my favorite decorations to put up every year. So this definitely completes the set and I absolutely love these. He also got me this amazing Pee Wee Herman, uh, Pee Wee's Playhouse bobblehead. Now, what's really cool about this is I had this very same Pee Wee's Playhouse bobblehead in the late 90s. I had it in the back window of my car, my, uh, my 73 Malibu, and um, it melted. It melted in the sun because that's what happens when you live in the San Fernando Valley. And then so he went and he hunted one down on eBay, Still in the box, still sealed, has a price tag on it. I'm conflicted. I wanna take it out of the box, but 
I don't think I will. This is really cool. I love this so much. On to some of the stuff that my wife got me. She got me some sealed uh, original series Garbage Pail Kids, and uh, this is for a project that I'm working on. I need to collect a bunch of um, bunch of unopened packs, and uh, we got you know series 14, series 13, series four, um, series 11, series 12. Uh, now speaking of Garbage Pail Kids, she also got me a couple of rack packs. And this one has an offer on it for a Garbage Pail Kids t-shirt and sweatshirt offer. You can see right there. And then on the back, it's got the, uh, it's got the information on how to order a t-shirt or a sweatshirt. This one still has the price tag on it for Toys R Us. And the price is, I believe that says a dollar and 18 cents. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, now, keeping with the theme of Garbage Pail Kids, she also got me a box of 14th series. And so this was actually, I have been slowly putting together my box collection. And this is the last box that I needed to complete the series. I now have one through 14. If you are an old school skateboarder, you are gonna remember this. Do you remember these skateboarding is not a crime stickers? These are original stickers. You can tell they're, they're nice and dirty. They've got some stuff on them. I always had one of these in the back window of my dad's truck and I had them stuck, you know, other places around the house. I had the t-shirt. I don't think she understood when she bought them and she probably still doesn't understand just how happy these stickers can make me. Now this is not original. She said she actually tried to find me an original poster, but uh, they were like two to $500. So she got a reprint, which I would have been so mad if she spent two to $500 on a poster. Yes, a thrashing poster. All right, this might have been one of my favorite gifts. So there were two skateboards that are reissues that I really wanted. This is one of the two reissues that I really wanted. And once I saw it in person, oh man, it brought back so many memories. I loved it so much. This is the Santa Cruz Corey O'Brien Reaper skateboard. And this one is special to me because when my brother and I first got into skateboarding, we got our first pro boards. I got the Santa Cruz Slasher and my brother got the Corey O'Brien Reaper. And uh, then when he gave up on skating a short time later, I inherited this board and uh, I had it for many years after that. Now, the thing is, I feel bad because the other reissue skateboard that I wanted, um, I ended up finding that and I got that one too. Uh, my wife didn't know that, but so I now have both of them and I, I feel kind of bad about it, but uh, it doesn't matter because I love them both just as much and I'm actually gonna ride both of them. So I'm gonna be making a video in the very near future uh, showing you guys the other board and showing you uh, me setting up the two boards and, and giving them a test run. All right, so it's day three of my birthday celebration, Saturday morning, and we're on our way to do the thing that my wife had planned for uh, my actual birthday. But like I said, we decided to wait until our son could come with us. And so we're going to do it now. Uh, yep, there he is. Okay, we just got here. I think we're going to the Academy Museum. Uh, I just don't know why. I'm assuming there's a special exhibit. I don't know what it is. We're gonna find out. So it turns out they did in fact have a special exhibit that she wanted to bring me to. She brought me here to see the Boys in the Hood exhibit because she knows how much I love this movie and I absolutely loved coming to this exhibit. Although I don't think she knew quite how small it was. So that was a little bit of a disappointment, but I really loved seeing all the behind the scenes photos that they had and they had that song by the Five Stair Steps playing and looking at all of these behind the scenes pictures with that song in the background got me a little emotional, especially this one with John Singleton and the little Doughboy sitting on the couch having a good time together. And probably my favorite thing that they had in the exhibit was Furious Styles' nameplate and the stress balls that he was always messing with. You might think it would be Doughboy's hat, but for some reason, I really like seeing that stuff from Furious. You probably recognize this. This is Miss Baker's robe. 
And they also had a behind the scenes video that they were showing that I really enjoyed watching because I love filming locations. And although I know where all these locations are, I've been to all of them, I just still enjoyed seeing the behind the scenes of them filming there. Now these are the street signs of the uh, cross streets where that neighborhood is. So that was really cool that they had those to recognize that neighborhood. And these are the actual audition tapes for the different characters. Again, I know where all these locations are. I've been to all these locations, but for some reason, I just really enjoyed looking at these photos. I think I just liked the fact that they had the before and after pictures. They also had a Godfather exhibit. These are some of the costumes from the original movie. Now, I just wanted to show you really quick to give you an idea. The Godfather exhibit starts in this room. It then wraps around. All of this is still part of the Godfather. It then comes into another large room. And this is the Boys in the Hood exhibit. From here to here. Now, as much as I love seeing all this stuff, I wish they would have shown the movie a little more love. In the Godfather exhibit, they even had the horse head. Now I'm not gonna show it because it is a little graphic, but it's here if you wanna see it. They also had the desk and the chair from the original movie. I mean, it was a pretty cool exhibit. If I was a bigger fan of the Godfather, I probably would have really enjoyed it. This is the original matte painting from the Paramount logo. Pretty awesome. And Eddie Murphy fans will definitely recognize this. This is the tattoo sleeve from the main gang member in the movie Training Day. You can tell by the Hillside 13 in the center. They also had some pretty cool wigs on display. This one's obvious, Robin Williams and Mrs. Doubtfire. Michael Keaton in Beetlejuice, also from Edward Scissorhands. More behind the scenes stuff. This is rehearsal footage for the movie Baby Boy, which I love, so this was really cool to see. How about some casting photos? Paul Rudd, Drew Barrymore, Steve Buscemi, Doogie Howser, Neil Patrick Harris, LeVar Burton. I mean, this is back when they used Polaroids. All right, we are still on day three of my birthday celebration. Still celebrating this guy's birthday too. And we just got to Inglewood, California, about to walk over to SoFi Stadium. Our first time ever going to SoFi Stadium. And we're heading over there tonight to see the Linda Lindas, Rancid, the Smashing Pumpkins, and Green Day. Green Day is playing Dookie in its entirety. This is such a 90s show. I had to go. Um, I saw Green Day back in the early or mid 90s. Um, and actually, I saw Green Day and Smashing Pumpkins together at Lollapalooza 94. And probably that same year, I saw Rancid at the Palace. This is just going to be a total walk down memory lane. I'm really excited about it. I think the Linda Lindas are playing right now, so we gotta get over there. We're probably gonna miss them. Ready?
So there it is, four awesome days of celebrating my birthday. I wanna give a huge thank you to my wife and son for always making my birthday so special. And thank you to all of you that wished me a happy birthday. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.